Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss the difference between Cartesian product and a relation and how we define a relation. So, real life example of a Cartesian product. Mm, before studying this one, let me clear this Cartesian product. You have already heard this Cartesian name, right? This Cartesian name came from the French mathematician Rene Descartes. Okay. So, for our Cartesian coordinate system, what we have for locating a point, we represent that one, that particular point by x, y, and we see them as an order pair. Okay. So now let us start this video. Now let us consider these three students are there, whose name is Jack, Amy, and Gary. They study in a school where Smith is the teacher. So, if we consider them, so Smith is the teacher of that school and they are the students of a particular school. Okay, so this Smith is connected with Jack, Smith is connected with Amy, and Smith is connected with Gary. So, ultimately, if I find out the Cartesian product of this teacher and the students, ultimately, we'll have Smith with Jack in the first bracket this one is called an order pair okay this is a one element this is second element and this is third element so we have three element here of the cartesian product of t and s okay so from here we can say that cartesian product of a cross b i mean a and b is that first bracket x comma y Right, this is an element such that x belongs to the first element and y belongs to the second element. Right, x belongs to the first element and y belongs to the second set. Okay, so let's continue. Now, let us consider a second scenario. Okay, here. Same students are there, Jack, Amy, and Gary, and Smith is the teacher. But the here the condition is little bit different. Okay. Assume that Smith teaches Jack and Smith teaches Amy also. But he does not teach Gary. Okay. So ultimately this becomes a relation under this term teach. Okay, so our order pair will be Smith with Jack, Smith with Amy because Smith teaches both Jack and Amy, not Gary. So we are not considering this Gary part here, right? So this is a R which representing a relation where the order pair x comma y such that x teaches y, x is the teacher here, Smith, and y is the students here. Who are the students? This is Jack. And Amy. So Y can take the value of Jack and Amy and X can take Smith. Okay. Now let us consider or um, let us check this one in Venn diagram. Okay. This this is the Cartesian product of T and S and this is the relation. Okay. Of the earlier two situations. So Smith with Jack, Smith with Amy, Smith with Gary, right? So this one. And for relation Smith with Jack, Smith with Amy, right? This is the relation which teaches, okay? So Smith with Amy. So ultimately, what we'll have Smith with Jack and Smith with Amy. So we have two elements here. Here we have three elements here. So from here, we observe that these are only two elements are there, and those, these two elements already in this uh, Cartesian product of T and S. That's why we can say R is the subset of Cartesian product of T and S, right? Moreover, this is this R is a proper subset, okay? But by definition, we can say this is a subset. Now, definition of a relation, how we define? So, these are two sets where the first set contain A and the second set contain B under a relation R. 
So how we define a relation R from a non-empty set A to a non-empty set B is a subset of the Cartesian product A and B. So already we have learned that one right in the last slide. So R is a subset of Cartesian product of A and B. And in set builder method we can write R okay in the second bracket order pair a comma b a is related with b right this a is related with b under this relation okay so this a belongs to the set whom a and this b belongs to the set b already we have noticed here right okay thank you